Now this bubble that you see here, this expanding bubble, this is an oxygen bubble which was formed by the algae under my microscope slide. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. Today I'll put another water sample under the microscope and specifically I want to talk about um, the production of oxygen because I did a little bit of research and I found out that at least half of the oxygen, some researchers even think up to 70 to 80 percent of the world's oxygen is produced by algae in water. Um, specifically of course the oceans but these algae here, these are freshwater algae. Where did I get them from? Well, I spent a couple of days um, in the mountains and of course there are a lot of water places there. I mean, there was, I saw water dripping out of the side of the rocks because uh, and collecting because it rained a few days ago. Um, but when I looked uh, for algae, for some green material floating in the water, I was not really very lucky. Um, and one of the reasons I think is, is because uh, those uh, water uh, streams and uh, yeah, is, are essentially only temporary in nature. After a little bit of uh, looking around and uh, hiking, I did find a little pond and as a matter of fact there I'm on a skiing slope. Uh, and uh, so you can ski over the whole thing during winter time. And I did find a little pond there, but the problem is it, that it was so swampy there that I was already afraid of falling into the water because I could not really see the border of the pond. Everything was covered by grass. And so the algae that I saw floating on top of the water was a little bit difficult to reach and I did not want to take the risk to get all wet, especially also with my camera in hand. There were some interesting nice uh, plants there um, and those white fuzzy stuff, that's not cotton, of course not, but uh, that's used uh, for dispersing the seeds by wind. So of course I have to put this also under the microscope, but I know I'm getting a little bit uh, distracted now because the actual purpose of this video is, is to talk a little bit about the algae and the oxygen production. But that's, I think, one of the illnesses of a hobby microscopist is, is to put everything, to collect everything and put everything under the microscope that somehow fits on a microscope slide. By the way, this is in Rheinberg illumination so you see that the background is a slightly blue uh, that's uh, because I used a blue filter here. After a little bit of searching I did find a place and this is a water playground and you have to understand that in order to make the mountains also attractive during summertime in wintertime of course there are lots of people skiing there but during summertime how do you get the people into the mountains well one of the reasons is one of the ways is, is to um, make it very attractive by erecting playgrounds water playgrounds and uh, i found that essentially this is a very nice place where you could find algae but even there it was not so easy because the whole thing was so well maintained and so clean um, that i had some difficult time actually finding some of the algae and as a matter of fact i did find a biofilm there and this biofilm um, essentially I tried to scratch something off there was a little bit of this green stuff under my fingernail and essentially it was too little to actually make it worth taking it along um, home but in the pond there that is used by kids to actually cool off the little feet I did find um, algae floating around in, in uh, the pond um, and uh, what I've done is, is okay I said okay I want to take at least some of this stuff uh, home that is kind of my souvenir from the holidays um, as a matter of fact it's not surprising to find uh, if you have stuff water it's not surprising to find those spirogyra algae and uh, they can be found uh, essentially clustered together. Now I already knew that it's going to be probably difficult to find other water uh, microorganisms like, like um, ciliates because as soon as uh, the algae are floating around in water and as soon as people are moving into the pond uh, it's quite likely that they're because of the moving water they're washed out um, of uh, the algae and then kind of you know, are lost in, in the larger body of water. Well I always take along a little bit uh, uh, one of these plastic cups and uh, in this case I scooped up some of the sample put the watertight lid on top of it and essentially took it home and in the evening I put it under the microscope and yeah that's basically what I'm doing here uh, a small sample um, and uh, then cover glass uh, goes on top everything goes under the microscope and this is where I saw those spirogyra algae and I was able to observe the oxygen production a little bit so this is uh, using a four times uh, objective. You can already see that there's some of these bubbles there. And I decided, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a time-lapse. And so for a very long time, I recorded uh, the development of these oxygen bubbles. Um, the, this is now an oblique illumination. This gives you slightly a sweet dimensional effect. Now, um, I read somewhere, um, and scientists are not quite sure yet how many percent, but I read somewhere that at least 50% of the world's oxygen is produced by algae in the oceans of course this is uh, fresh water but this also contributes to the global oxygen production and some scientists I read again um, assume that it even goes up to 70 to 80 percent of the world's oxygen being produced by algae. 
The chloroplasts in Spirogyra is spiral shaped, but occasionally there are cells in there that have a different shape. Now, I don't know if this is already some kind of form of a cell specialization going on here. I have to do a little bit more research, and if you know maybe why some of the chloroplasts have a different shape, please also write this, of course, into the, the comments section. By focusing back and forth, you can actually see that the chloroplast is a spiral shape. During photosynthesis, uh, the plants use, of course, sunlight uh, to, uh, uh, as an energy source to split water. So water, H2O, is split into hydrogens, hydrogen with electrons and also oxygen. And the oxygen gas is this waste gas that the plants produce. Um, and this is the one that is released um, into the air. And carbon dioxide from the air is absorbed, of course. And this is how the plants create uh, form biomass. So I've been essentially uh, watching the growth of this oxygen bubble for quite a bit of time. Um, it's around, uh, of course, it's time lapse around uh, 20 times uh, faster. And you can see as, as the oxygen bubble grows, it pushes all of the algae uh, to the side. Um, and now imagine that uh, I don't know, billions and billions of these algae do that. I mean, that's a lot of oxygen. If you can even see it under the microscope, uh, the growth of this oxygen bubble, just imagine how much ox oxygen is produced by these algae worldwide. Yeah, again, if when you um, have a higher magnification, you can see the spiral shaped uh, chloroplast uh, much better. Yeah, and there are plenty of oxygen bubbles, so of course I had to repeat everything here. again in a different place. And here we've got three bubbles. And again, under time lapse, uh, I was able to actually watch uh, those uh, bubbles uh, grow very quickly. Um, and yeah, it was kind of fun, uh, fun to observe and interesting, um, interesting to see. Well, I have also a, a whole bunch of uh, Patreon supporters uh, that I would like to thank. Um, if you also would like uh, to support the channel, yes, please do visit uh, the link, uh, the Patreon link uh, uh, that I've uh, projected into the corner at the end of the video. Um, I also have of course uh, an Amazon web shop, an affiliate web shop for those of you who are interested in microscopy and want to find a couple of microscopy related products please also visit that I've got the links in the description below and um, of course I would like uh, to also ask you if you like these videos uh, to visit my second channel um, which is uh, also microscopy related where I talk more about um, the um, yeah the, the hardware aspects um, of microscopy and other microscopy related topics Subscribe to the channel if you like it. I think it's enough for today. Again, uh, happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.